we also want to make sure as, as learning goes online, as learning stops for the rest of the country, what about the people with, what about our children and our learners with disability? And this is what we are here to sensitize ourselves, our counties and the, our country really. So it's basically that. We're very happy and I want to congratulate Nondo for being very innovative and creative because they just didn't give up because of COVID. They said let's innovate and let's still continue to advocate for the rights of people who, who are living with disabilities. So I thank them and I'm very happy to have been part of this and to be associated with this. We'll make sure that the Senate Committee of, uh, Social, uh, of Labor and Social, Social Protection makes sure we, we, they get the recommendations that we've worked on from yesterday's conference and that this sensitization goes a long way in making sure our MCAs start making laws at the local level that are going to um, respond to the needs of people with disabilities and laws at the national level also continue to respond to the needs of people with disabilities. So basically this is what it's all about. It's an advocacy forum. It's also a forum where we're listening to our people with disabilities. They tell us exactly what is the issue they're facing or what are the challenges they're facing. But more importantly, we are here to find local solutions to our local problems. Even as we go to government, we are going to, as local leaders, we look at ways in which we can help our, our learners with disability. I thank you.